what we are going to look at today, we are basically going to be learning in terms of how can we now prove our area rule, right? So now let's see in terms of what can we do. Now, firstly, we know that in order for us to prove uh, any of these rules, surely you might have learned that we use the same rule for proving the sine rule, uh, the cosine rule. Now we are in the area rule. Now, what, what we are going to do here is, firstly, uh, we are going to label all these sides here. Remember, if this is your angle A here, so this is going to become your side A. If this is your angle B, this is going to be your side B. And if this is C, then this is going to be your side C. Oh, it's okay. And now, uh, what we need to know, ordinarily, isn't it that we've learned that uh, from all these previous grades that if you have an ordinary right-angled triangle, the area of your right-angled triangle, it is given by what? 1 uh, over 2, which is half, multiplied by base, multiplied by the perpendicular height. Isn't it so? That is what we have learned. Now, let's see in terms of how can we then use that. Now, from here, if you can see uh, from this, there is nothing much that have changed, right? Because look, uh, for example, if you can take in, let's, let's say you take in 90 degrees here and you plug it in from this sign of C, you plug 90 degrees. I remember 90 degrees is going to give you one, right? So which means basically this is still going to be the same thing, right? The only difference is that now this is not your right angled triangle, right? So now let's start there. Now what we are going to do here, we are going to start by then now uh, constructing our perpendicular height here, right? So when we construct our perpendicular height, this is going to be our what? Our height h. Let's say we make this to be our height h, right? Now let's see. Now ordinarily, ordinarily, if now we have this height h, so the area of triangle ABC, isn't it? This was going to be same as one over two multiplied by your base. It was going to be your what? Your side uh, a multiplied by your height, which is your what? Your h. That is going to be your area of this triangle. Right, if let's say we've constructed this perpendicular height. Now, however, now look, if we've constructed these perpendicular heights, now it's it also split this bigger triangle, your triangle ABC, into two also other triangles, right? So now let's see. Now, if you want to find out now what is going to be then your angle C. If let's say now we want to find out what is going to be your angle C. So now and therefore, which means you are only going to be focusing on this triangle, right? Triangle, this one, right? Uh, this triangle only. That's going to be your point of focus, isn't it? So, so now, isn't it that you are going to say your sign, uh, your sign of uh, C is going to be given by what? Your sign of C, it is going to be given by this, which is uh, the opposite side and also the side that is your what? Your hypotenuse. So the opposite side, it is going to be your H over what is the hi uh, hypotenuse side? It is going to be your B. I would give that is going to be that. And now from here, you see that now you already have the area that you've already calculated. Now let's see and let's try and make this now uh, to be your subject of the formula. So if you make your H the subject of the formula, your H now it is going to be given by what? This is going to be B sine of what? Sine of C. Now let's take the area formula firstly and make it, uh, make it our first equation and take this one and make it our second equation, right? So which means now where there is H, now you are going to plug in what? You are going to plug in this, right? So which means now the area, right? The area of triangle ABC, triangle ABC. Uh, remember, this was the area of triangle uh, ABC indeed, right? So the area of triangle ABC, now it is going to be equal to 1 over 2 multiplied by what? Multiplied by A. Now, because your H here, uh, is given by what? It is given by B sine of C, which means now it is going to be multiplied by what? B sine of what? Of angle C. Therefore, this is going to be the area rule which you are required to prove because if you write this, this is the same as 1 over 2 
uh, A, B, sine of what? Sine of C. Also, get. Then, therefore, you have successfully proven your area rule.